Hello, grade six, and welcome to week nine. For this week, I have an important announcement that on Sunday we are going to go to the lab. So please don't forget your lab coats, because if you forget your lab coats, you will not be able to enter the lab. For this week, we are going to continue the lesson gas behavior by going to the lab and testing both Charles and Boyle's law. And then we are going to continue the last part of the lesson and take real life situations of gas behavior. And by the middle of the week, we are going to start with our unit two. Since we are going to start with unit two, then we are starting with a new chapter and we are going to talk about characteristics of living things, living things in the biosphere. So now we are going to take more of biology. We're going to talk about living things. We are going to start by what is an organism. We're going to understand what does it mean as a term. And then we have uh, four to five characteristics that we will be taking in details. First, we're going to start with cellular organization, and we're going to talk about if the cells are unicellular, multicellular, what is a cell, how are all organisms made of cells. We're going to understand all of that. And then we're going to talk about the chemicals of life. There are some chemicals that make up uh, our life, and we are going to understand what these are, and we're going to learn about them. We're going to read articles and flashcards, and we're going to view simulations, and we're going to watch videos. It's going to be very interesting. This is a very interesting chapter. And then we're going to talk about growth and development. We're going to know how living things, one of their characteristics is for them to grow and develop. Uh, as usual, we will watch videos and simulations to help us get a better picture. And then, and then we will uh, also talk about one uh, characteristics of the living things, which is response to surrounding. We are going to know what is a stimulus as a term and what is response as a term and how is it supposed to be a characteristics of all living things. We're going to read examples and articles showing us what is the response to surroundings according to different stimulus in living things. And we will do a lot of posters to help us uh, know what we uh, learned from the characteristics of living things. And we will play interactive games such as Blue Kit and Kahoot. We will also be reading from our books to get the full picture of this lesson. And also, as usual, we will assess our knowledge by doing online quizzes. So this is all for this week. I hope that uh, this week will be full of fun and new knowledge thank you so much grade six you always know where to find me and i hope that uh, this week will be full of new ideas and knowledge